What's up, people? Thank you for tuning in to the channel for 10 things we learned this preseason with Chelsea. Now, before I get into it, I want to say that I definitely know that preseason is more deceiving than what most people's online dating profiles because last season we thought Didier Drogba reincarnated in Nicholas Jackson and that Pochettino was going to be the best thing ever and we were dead wrong. So we have to take everything with a grain of salt, but I have found 10 things that I am pretty certain of will happen come the start of the year. But before we get into it really quickly, if you did not know, I just hit a thousand subscribers since I posted my last video and I am just very grateful. So I just wanted to take a quick second to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed, who has liked, watched any of my videos. It means so much to me. If you can continue though to hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already, I have tons more content coming out. I'm going to be telling you match reviews. I'm going to be giving you starting 11s, transfer talk. Everything is happening. I'm going to be getting way more involved now that the season is starting with this channel. So make sure you like this video for me and subscribe. Let's get into it though. The first thing we learned from the preseason, I'm going to hate saying these three words. It gives me no pleasure to say this, but we need time. I don't know about you, but uh, I wanted to put what this pin through my eye after hearing Pochettino say that 20 times last season. And it is going, to, we're going to have some severe flashbacks to that. Yeah, we're going to have PTSD hearing the same exact things because whether we like it or not, Chelsea went out and with our 44 man roster, we have bought so many players. Gabri Vega has to adapt. We don't even know if Jorgensen's going to be our goal if he has to adapt. We also have now Tucson in our defense. We also have people coming back that haven't played like with Fafana, like Lavia, like Ninkunku, that are like new signings. Reese James hasn't really played with these people much. Oh, we got Dewsbury Hall in the midfield that's going to mix it up. Oh, well then on top of that, we also have new strikers, two new strikers. This, but it, it is going to be chaotic. They need time to learn a new system that is complicated and they need time to adapt to each other. Now, I'm not saying it was the right choice to do this. I am just saying that we need time. So I'm getting flashbacks that the first 10 games are going to be that. We're going to be back, hopefully not too low, but they are going to be repeating that. I hope that doesn't happen, but I think that is 100% almost guaranteed for it to be heard because we're just going to make some mistakes at the beginning. But let's go into some positive things right here because number two is that Ninkunku is world class. Now, this is not something that we necessarily found out this summer, but it is something that we were reminded of. We all knew if you look at the numbers at RB Leipzig, top goal score, incredible goal assist ratio, we knew he was world class. Last preseason, phenomenal. He got hurt. The reason everyone called this Cole Palmer FC last year is because we could not score a goal or do anything unless Cole Palmer was involved. I think if Ninkunku's fit, we might become Cole Palmer and Ninkunku FC, which, you know, cool new branding. You know, we're two players now in. We need a nine more to make it at Chelsea FC, but we're getting better. So I am very excited about Ninkunku. Number three, I wanted to go over that we definitely learned this preseason is that we are going to concede a lot of goals. Now, our team is young. We made so many mistakes last year, and the amount of air that could be what the amount of air that we could have with playing it out of the back with new players and everything at the beginning beginning is just going to be very bad let's let, let's just take this into consideration i know this is going to break it your heart but our defense last year was atrocious right so what have they done to fix it well do we have a better goalie we don't even know who our goalie is going to be so we haven't made an instant improvement. Petrovic wasn't even bad. Most people would consider him still our best goalie at the moment. Well, who were our best two defenders last year? Thiago Silva and Trevor Chalba. They are not playing. We now have three in the back. We now don't have Connor Gallagher helping out back. It is just not going to be the best. I, I, you can't convince me right now that we're going to have a better defense than we did last year or a lot better. So, unfortunately, we are going to concede goals. Let's go into another positive, though. Nani Matawaki is our best winger. 
That hurts to say because I am a Mikhailo Mudrick fanboy. If you don't know that, you can know it now. And if you are one, make sure to subscribe again so you can hear me talk about him more. But at this point in time, Nani is our best winger. I think he has been – he's our winger that's dangerous. He's been helping out defensively. He's been making things happen, and I'm very, very happy about that. I still have concerns about his attitude, but – Nani is a real winger, and I think that is very good to see this preseason that he has improved. Next up, we got number five, which is another negative. That is Badia Shill cannot be a starter. Now, I, this is a guy I've tried to back. I I saw that first glimpse of him when he came in in his Lamborghini, and I thought it was incredible. Then last year, I was trying to think that he was just adjusting, trying to find it back. Oh, I thought Maresca came in. He's an amazing passer. It might be better, but here's the reality of it. And I want to know if I'm the only person thinking this, but this is how I want to say the jury's completely out on Badia Shill, but this is it. Think about the best center backs. I mean, you think about Chelsea's good ones, Tiago Silva, um, obviously John Terry. I got him right here on my t-shirt. Legend. We have so many look around the premier league best center backs all of them have a type of heart that is just on their sleeve they're they're dedicated they they'll put their life on the line to save a ball like jt and i'm not just trying to go over the top on his last goal that he conceded where he could have saved it and he didn't but he every time you watch him he's just too chill i'm sorry but for me i need a center back with the energy with the passion behind it and he is so calm, he's not communicative enough, and I just don't know if he doesn't change that, if he's ever going to be at all decent. So that's something I think we learned from the preseason. Like I said, you can't judge a lot, but at the same time, there's no way this dude can start after putting in performances like that, and other people have been bad, but they haven't been that bad. I mean, you just can't start him. So that's a fact. That's what we learned. Number uh, Next one I'm going to say is that Mark Guhi. Guihi should stay. Yes, I know we signed a new striker, but at this point, Nicholas Jackson can't stay, or he he's can't stay fit right now because he's still injured. We also know we signed Samuel, that new striker, but he doesn't know how to play. He's new coming in, and we're going to go into week one without a really clear striker. Mark Gui needs to stay here until at least this thing he impressed me a lot. He is a bulldog. I'm going to start calling him a bulldog because that's exactly what he is. Needs to work on his finishing, but so happy with him as an 18-year-old. Next up, what are we on now? Number seven, Ben Chilwell has to go. Thank you, Ben Chilwell. We learned this preseason that you do not fit the system at all. You are a wing back, and this system is the worst for fullbacks. You're only a fullback if you can play a center back or you can play a six, and he is neither of those. He doesn't fit. Ben Chilwell needs to leave. Come on. Simple as that. We got to get flying through these because I'm taking too long rambling. I haven't made enough videos recently. I'm, I'm talking too much. All right. We don't have a starting goalie. That is clear. Petrovic was supposed to be our starter. Robert Sanchez was named the starter. And then they brought in a new goalie saying that they don't think Robert Sanchez is it, but we don't know if this guy is it. We have eight goalies and we don't have a starter. <laughs> That's not the most Chelsea thing I've heard today. Yeah. So I still think Robert Sanchez is going to start week one. I don't know if Jorgensen's going to take him over. I actually think that you don't know because you haven't seen enough of Jorgensen, but we don't know. We don't have a starting goalie. That is, that is for certain. Uh, next thing we learned is that we are still Cole Palmer FC. That's number nine. Let's be honest. I know I said that thing about Nkunku, but there is no way that Cole Palmer, we don't need Cole Palmer. We definitely, definitely need him. Uh, we definitely need Mark Cucurella too. I don't think people have realized how much we actually need him. But here's the other thing. How does Cole Palmer fit into this? Because if you think about it, he's either playing a midfielder or a right winger. Nani's been our best winger, so are we taking him out of the starting 11 just to put Cole Palmer there? I honestly think he'd be better in the attacking mid position, but also we're having Enzo play there. We're having Nkunku play there. Who's, who's he, is he going to replace one of those? I don't know what's going to happen. Let me know if you know because that, that would help, but we are still Cole Palmer FC. 
Next up and the last thing, number 10. Thank you for watching if you've been here this long. Number 10 is that we are not ready. I kind of alluded to it in the first one, but we are not ready for Man City week one. I, I It's clear. We're learning new things every game, but they are big things. <sighs> and we are not ready. Those are the 10 things that we learned. I want to know what your guys' main thing that you learned this preseason is. Do you agree with one of mine? Does it com- is it complement one of those? Is it different? Remember to like. Remember to subscribe because I will be making tons of more content. I will see you guys in the next one. Come on, Chelsea.